Hi, Facebook. How are y'all tonight? Today, I want to talk to you guys about my day two of my coconut oil soap results. Um, as you know, yesterday I did a video on my soap, my coconut oil soap that I made. This was my first time ever making soap, and I think I did pretty good. Um, I made this back, I think it was October, November, somewhere last year. And I have let it cure over time. This was a hot press soap. So the, the more it cures, the better it gets. So I've been using this on my face, on my body, things like that. So yesterday I decided to try to use it in my hair. And I had my hair up in a puff yesterday. So, and I was very pleased with the results, like I said yesterday in the video, that my hair was felt moisturized, it was soft, it had a lot of elasticity. Well, today, oops, my phone almost fell. Uh, today, I still have elasticity. And earlier today, my hair was a little bit more moist. Um, like I said, I didn't put any oil or anything on my hair because I just wanted to see what my uh, hair results was going to be without any any type of um, moisturizer on it. So today I did the same thing, but except this morning, I um, rinsed my hair. I sprayed some of my coffee rinse on my hair this morning. Um, and coffee usually helps with... Uh, Decrease, decrease the shedding in your hair. So that's why I use my coffee rinse. Um, so today my hair was more softer. It's still soft. It looks dry and it is a little bit dry, but not like a brittle dry. But um, it's really time for me to deep cleanse my hair. And that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. And... Um, so, but as you can see, the curls are still there too as well. I love the textures on my curls. So, of course, as you see, I can I have a lot of shrinkage. That's because I have not really manipulated and put moisturizer on it to kind of weigh it down a little bit. So, you're going to have a lot of shrinkage, but my hair is really much longer than what it appears to be. So... That's what happens when you don't put anything to weigh it down a little bit. But anyway, tonight I'm going to be bentonitizing clay. I'm going to use some bentonite clay. And I'm going to use activated charcoal with the bentonite. Now, activated charcoal, this is not the charcoal that you have a cookout with or a barbecue. No, this is not that kind of charcoal. But it's a powder um, charcoal and what, what it is, it's activated. And what it does, it's a, it's a detox. It's like a adsorber. And basically, um, as a nurse, this is what we use on patients that have like overdose or got some poisoning. Um, but you can use it on your face. You can use it, um, you can actually drink it as well, and um, you can brush your teeth with it. So, um, tonight I'm going to be using it on my hair because my hair, like I said, is long overdue. And I I, I do this when, um, actually I've never used activated charcoal on my hair, so I mixed it with the bentonite clay. But what I was going to say is that I deep cleanse about every six to eight weeks I deep cleanse my hair because you need to deep cleanse your hair because your your pores get clogged with the sebum and so it can stunt your growth so it's always good to um, deep cleanse your hair and get rid of some of the sebum if not all the sebum and start over because basically what I use on my hair now is I do a coca, um, cocoa butter and shea butter mixture along with um, vegetable glycerin. Yeah, 
along with my vegetable glycerin. And those are some heavy butters. And so uh, when I had washed my hair with my coconut or soap, uh, you can really feel the sebum when your hair is wet. And I had a lot of sebum. And that sebum is still there and it needs to come out because you don't get the full effect of the length of your hair when your hair is weighed down with a lot of um, oils. Now, it's good to protect your hair with oils, but over time they do have a buildup. So it is best that you clean it and start over. So, but like in between your um, deep cleanse, you can always use something like the coconut oil soap or whatever you use, something light just to get some of the the uh, buildup off, but not necessarily to get rid of all your sebum. So, but you should always do a deep cleanse every once in a while to clear your scalp because you want to promote growth in your hair. So, <clears throat> let me show you what it looks like. Now, I have mixed the bentonite and the charcoal together. And it looks like this. It's black. Yes. Now, charcoal can be very messy. And like I said, it is an absorber. So, it cleans out all the toxins. It attracts. It's not an absorber. It's an adsorber. So, therefore, like a sponge, a sponge absorbs. But when you squeeze a sponge, all the stuff come back out of it. Charcoal is just the opposite. It absorbs. But it keep it holds it. It holds it. It's like a magnet. It holds everything. It pulls all all the metals and whatever, all the toxins out, and it doesn't reabsorb. So that's what this is gonna do for my hair tonight. So I'm getting a double dose of detox, double cleanse into my hair because I feel like I need it. But anyway. Um, when you're using charcoal, you got to be real careful because it's very messy and it's, it's a powder. Um, well, bentonite clay can be messy too, but, uh, charcoal is black, so it can stain your counter. So I have newspaper down before I get started. And what I did was I mixed mine, I always mix mine in vinegar. I don't have any aloe vera juice because that helps with it not being so dry because charcoal and charcoal and the um, bentonite will dry your hair. So um, I don't have, I use some of my herbal, herbal infusion. So hopefully that'll moisture in my hair some. So I'm gonna have to not, I don't have any gloves. So I'm have to use my hands, so hopefully they won't be so black and I can get this off. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my hair. Get started on it. But um, I just wanna tell y'all something that happened to me today, which our God is so good. Um, last night I was up late making um, pine tar soap and you know I mixed my lye and pine tar stinks as strong as a chemical that comes from pine tar. I mean it's, it's a fluid that comes from pine, pine trees and so it's very strong. So I opened up the window last night. And I forgot to close the window uh, last night. So I went to bed with the window open. But anyway, I left the stove on and did not know it. I left the stove on. I have a gas stove. And the flame was not there, but I left the stove on all night and all day. So when I woke up this morning... You know, I could still smell the pine tar, but by me sleeping in it, I did not smell the gas. 
in which you cannot really smell carbon dioxide, but you know when you smell gas. So I went to work and my stove was on all day long, all day long. So when I came home, I immediately smelled the gas because I was thinking about the soap. I said the soap should be ready and that smell should be gone when I get home. Well, I be darned. I left the stove alone, so I had to open up all the windows, all the doors. But I just want to say God is so good because I left that window open last night by mistake. Just think if I wouldn't have left that window open. So I know God has a purpose for my life. I know that he has purpose in my life. My hair needs to be trimmed. Look at that. Um... So I know he is not finished with me yet because usually people do not survive sleeping with gas on all night. And um, I'm just so grateful and I'm thankful that he did it. And on top of that, the strange thing is that I drunk charcoal this morning. I drunk my charcoal, my activated charcoal this morning, and I drunk it last night. So that could have helped play a part in it as well. I don't know, but I'm here today to tell y'all that my God is good. Yes, he is. My God is good. My God is good. He's not good. He's great. He's awesome. So just know that God is with you. And all the chaos. So I'm grateful to be alive today. Because my husband is away. And Lord have mercy. But anyway. Back to the hair. I just want to share y'all. Share that with y'all. And after I um do this i am going to do henna because you know i do my henna next because i gotta turn this gray to red yes but anyway i'm gonna cut this video because y'all don't want to watch me do this all night not all night but half of the night well my hand is not gonna be too bad because it seems like there's more bentonite clay than the uh charcoal so it's not making my hand black okay well i'm gonna cut this video short and i will come back and um show y'all the results of this combination